Let's look now at how we can calculate the accumulated value of an ordinary simple annuity. Remember, an ordinary simple annuity is simply a sequence of payments. So let's look at this example here. Find the accumulated value of an ordinary simple annuity of $1 per year for 3 years if money is worth 7% compounded annually. So let's draw our timeline. So we start at 0 here and then this is 1 year. Then we have the second year. So these are these are equal. So they might not look too equal here. And this is the third year. So and so we're going to start out here with some. We're going to make payments here. And so we're going to make a payment of one dollar. Then another payment of one dollar. And then another payment of one dollar. So the question simply becomes then: How much money are we going to have if J1 notice that? This is 7%. So this is not too difficult. We just simply find what that is worth here. That's what? Two years later, right? So notice we are having the payment at the end of the terms. This may seem a little strange, but this is how we'll do it for right now. So here, for this one, n is equal to 2. Then, of course, for the other one here, n is equal to 1 and then of course for this one here n is equal to 0 so let's find the future value then so the future value of that one dollar is going to be one dollar times one plus what's i in this case it's um it's compounded annually so it's 0 0.07 and for how many periods, two periods, plus one times one plus zero point zero seven to the first power plus one times and I'll just add them here so it fits one point zero seven to the zero power which is just one. So then this has a value of 1.1449 plus this will have a value of 1.07. In other words, this dollar after two years will have made what? A little more than 14 cents. This dollar after a year will have made what? 7 cents. And then of course this dollar here doesn't make anything because well, no time has elapsed here. So that dollar is just simply worth a dollar. Notice we are using this point in time as our focal date. So all of this adds up to 3.21. So roughly $3.21. So that is the value of this annuity. This annuity of $1 a year in, th in three years will have a value of $3.21. So this is a lot better than simply putting those dollars in a little valley somewhere because if you did that you don't have three dollars but now you have three dollars and 21 cents let's look now at a very similar problem here we have to find the accumulated value of an ordinary simple annuity of 300 per year for three years now this is very similar to the problem we did just now the only difference is that instead of paying one dollar per year you're now paying three dollars per year so let's look at our timeline always draw a timeline that's three so I guess 2 would be about here, and then 1 would be about here. So you're now paying $300, and then $300 again, and now $300 again. And so this $300 is worth 300 here. This, however, would be worth, well, 7% more, right? And this one, well, it's going to be for two terms. So for this one, n is going to be equal to 1 and this one n is going to be equal to 2. We could do this whole calculation over again but let's look at something an easier way to do this. We already know that for a dollar, for the case of a dollar, so I'm just write this up here, the accumulated value for a dollar, I'll just write a little 1 here so we know it's for one dollar, was three dollars and twenty-one cents. If instead of paying one dollar per year we pay three hundred dollars per year, all we have to do to get this future value here for three hundred dollars is just multiply three hundred 
times that 3.2149. So we don't need to do all that work again. And so this turns out to be $964.47. So now, in all, we made $64.47. So you see the advantage of placing your money in, in some investment that returns your money compounding every year. So this is essentially the, the strategy for calculating um, the value of an annuity. We are going to find out what is the value of a $1 annuity and then multiply that by the actual payments we make. In this case, $300. Okay, so I'll stop here for now and um, we'll look at some more examples in the next video.